To be honest, I'd rather just be a little lonelier than deal with all the hassle of dating. I'm really not in a place emotionally and financially where I can deal with sorting through a bunch of misses to find a missus. Nowadays with dating apps, there's always something new and more exciting just around the corner. So many women I've dated have abruptly broken things off because they found something more exciting. Dating is like taking on a part-time job. I don't have the time or the energy. I'm sure all of you can relate to that. Social media, Hollywood, and porn have really altered the expectations of the general public across the board when looking for a mate. It's actually really messed up psychologically when a person thinks about it. Specifically, unrealistic expectations are held by people who conveniently hold themselves to extremely low standards but feel entitled to the best. More specifically, unrealistic expectations are held by people who act like victims when they're confronted with equally high expectations. Honestly, the amount of white dudes with Thai women that are waiting to board international flights, it's an absurdity. It is crazy. <laughs> like, half of the couples in this airport right now are beautiful Thai women with super basic white dudes. <laughs> Let me use a liberal argument. Well, why do you care? Does it affect your life? And the fact is, these white men understand that if they want to get feminine women, they're going to find it in Asian women. What are your hints to go up to a girl? Eye contact. If they're just looking at you, they want you to come up to them. I'm just taking like, mental notes. And this is my hint. I literally kept going like this. And we made eye contact, I swear to you, like maybe eight, nine times. So that was my hint, like, come up to me. Like, I'm obviously, I think you're cute or something, right? Did not come up to me. And I was so like, basically, right, read her mind. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of what I was <laughs> saying. Note. I get back home, I wake up, the next day I get a DM. Hey, saw you at the Steve Madden event, you're really cute. I open it, it was the pink shirt guy! I was like, why didn't you come up to me, like, at the actual thing? Guys are scared nowadays. Guys are so scared. Men's reluctance to approach women today is pretty straightforward. Blame the Me Too movement, feminism, and the overblown awareness around consent and respectful boundaries. Thanks to online dating apps and social media, traditional dating dynamics are practically extinct making face-to-face -face interactions a rarity. Relationship traumas like infidelity, abuse, or betrayal leave emotional scars that run deep. These negative experiences make trusting again nearly impossible, so men steer clear of new relationships to avoid getting burned. Healing from these traumas? Good luck with that. It's a nightmare, so men prefer to focus on their own well-being instead of diving back into the dating cesspool. And let's not forget the sheer hassle of dating women these days. It demands a ton of money and effort with slim to no chance of getting anything in return. If someone genuinely happens to fall from the sky, maybe they'll reconsider. But more often than not, men decide it's just not worth their time. They've got better things to do. In the days, most of the time, you would wait for someone to make the first move. It might be on the first date, it might be the third date, whatever. It right. could be the man, it could be the woman. But now, all my friends have noticed that the man has stopped making the first move. All my girlfriends are like, they're waiting, it's the third date, fourth date, a week later. He hasn't gone in for the kiss, he doesn't do any touch or anything. And I've asked my dude friends that are single, right. and they are like, you don't know where a woman's gonna go with that story, where I ain't touching nobody. And it kind of, it sucks, because the Me Too movement is so strong and so so powerful for the people that need it, but it shouldn't ruin the maturity that we should have within intimacy and relationship. I mean, dating after you are 40 years old is ghetto. Like, it's so ghetto. Especially if you're, like, a woman who's independent and not her own. I think the, the, the dating pool is way smaller for us. Like... I am so over it. I'm over it. I am 40 years old and I get it. I don't look like I'm 40. So I attract a lot of young men and like I am very vibrant and I listen to like reggaeton, trap, all that stuff that is like appealing to like the younger kids or whatever. But like even the dudes that are my age, like they're playing games. They're playing games like, baby, I don't got time to be texting all day. Like, plan something. Plan something. Like, I don't got that time to be on the phone, texting back and forth, what you doing this, and like, plan something. Sister, you told 90% of my male viewers that type... Online dating is now the go-to way for people to meet. And while it has its perks, it's also a minefield. The endless options of potential partners can be downright paralyzing making men reluctant to commit. Plus, 
Let's be honest, online dating thrives on superficial interactions, making genuine connections almost impossible. Then there's the older woman who comes with a laundry list of conditions, like refusing to move into a man's house while wanting to date. These endless conditions, while supposedly reflecting personal comfort and autonomy, just make men throw their hands up in frustration. It creates a sense of complexity and potential incompatibility for men who are genuinely interested in forming relationships. Do not even like I was deleted. I'm done with it. I gave it a good three months, tried it, and it was just like endless texting. Endless texting for nothing. Like, why are you on a dating app if you're not trying to meet people? For what? Like in this time, in this generation, men are just emotionally unavailable. They're just not, they're, they don't want to be emotionally available, especially when they meet a woman that is got her own, is successful, pay all her bills, is pretty, is knowledgeable. Like, what the F? What in the actual F? What in the actual F? I am so done. Like, I don't want to date. Like, I'm done. Like, I hate dating. I don't, they want to talk to like multiple people and see which one, like, no, I am the price. Like, I am the price. You're not going to try to play me around to see which one of these you're talking to is better than me. I'm better. No. Anyway, thanks for listening to my rant. I don't know who can relate, but I'm just so done. Like, I'm done. Dating in 2024 is good. Hey y'all, it's been a while. I um, have been out and about and doing my thing, uh, but just checking in, some new things going on. Wanted to see what you guys thought. Um, I have been seeing a younger guy, about 10 years younger than I am, and he is, he's, he does okay for himself. He has a cute little house out in the country and um, the truth is it's not my thing and, uh, he understands that and knows that I have a different background than he does. And I, um, I have a different net worth than he does. And I know I'm going to come off like a and sound like, you know, I don't have my head on straight, but it's definitely a lifestyle change, and I'm wondering if anybody's experienced this. Um, I I really care about him, and he really cares about me, and we've we've done a lot of um, chatting about this. But he's probably not ever going to want to move out of his cute little house out in the country, and I'm probably never going to want to move into his cute little house in the country. Um, just cause it's, it, I'm really, I'm a Libra. I'm into my surroundings. I need to be like aesthetically happy and there's a lot of work to be done and I don't think it's going to get done. Um, so anyway, I know this is like totally superficial and stupid, but this is what's on my mind and I wanted to get somebody's opinion. I don't need telling me I'm a bitch and I need to be, you know, um, coming down off my high horse. I understand that people come from different backgrounds and do different things. And, um, we all have to kind of make our way and feel right with who we end up with. So just, just checking anybody date younger people who might not be in the same financial spot as you and, um, your comfort level with that. Um, Maybe guys are more comfortable with it just because it's the traditional role, but, um, and maybe I'm not comfortable with it because it's not the traditional role. I don't know. I'm just asking. It's, it's what's on my mind. And, um, there you go. And did you notice I didn't say, um, hardly at all. I'm so excited. And let's not ignore the women who now feel their dating prospects are tanking blaming it on a perceived lack of interest from men. This feeling is rooted in evolving societal norms, the Hash Me Too movement, and women's strict boundaries in relationships. It highlights the convoluted mess that modern dating has become, leaving many feeling unwanted or overlooked.
Is um, dating today, in your opinion, harder than it's ever been? I was friends with my boyfriend before we started dating and I feel like that's a more natural transition than like seeing features on your screen and trying to make a decision based on like a list of things. People just try and avoid things because I think they're scared to say things straight up. One red flag and you're kind of like, oh, I can go find somewhere else. You don't need to have one person when you could have like five. Honestly, I don't know. I've had really bad luck. <laughs> so everything. <laughs> like, I've been treated like shit. I think a big part of it is because of social media. People see a lot. They expose to a lot. They're always looking for better, 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 better. Everyone is always looking for the best thing and they always think something else is around the corner and you almost have too much access to too many people. And that's it for today on Sigma Traits. Make sure you hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and don't forget to ring that notification bell. Support this channel through membership. You can also support through PayPal link in the description. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. See you all tomorrow.